Hello and welcome to another spontaneous travel trip. We are currently in a hotel getting ready to go to Billund and in 24 hours time we're done. We're already coming back. So I'm currently in the UK. In 24 hours time I'm going to be in the UK and I fly out in the morning. So what this video is going to be is just going to be a highlight reel. We are in a really nice refurbed hotel room. So I thought we'll start it off in here and it's always nice to see some bits and pieces that we're in. So this is all brand new which is really really nice so everything's new it's all just been redone i did stay here last year and it was completely different so you can see i am absolutely knackered it's quite late at night this was a last minute thing i literally booked this hotel room three and a half hours ago and it took me three hours and 15 minutes to get here i fly out at seven in the morning i've Alarm set for half past four, so I'm going to get about four hours sleep. What I'm going to do now is go over to the service station over the road, try and grab something to eat, sort out all the different bits and pieces of the memory cards from Canada and Swindon because that's not even been done yet. This is how busy and spontaneous it is. All the batteries aren't even charged, so I'm now having to charge all the bits and pieces. I just threw everything in my bag, jumped in the truck, and came here. But because it is fully refurbed, you have got USB points absolutely everywhere, which is really, really nice. So you've got another two down on this side and then you've got another two on the far side. But because this is spontaneous, I've got no luggage at all. So I can't bring back anybody's bits and pieces that you want, like the pirate and things like that. I will try and get to the Lego house and I will try and do a video of that as well. Obviously it's all gonna be within this highlight reel video as such, but I am gonna book somewhere a little bit longer over Christmas time. So anybody that wants any of the Lego Land, Lego Land or Lego House exclusive sets, then let me know, get in the comment section. And then when I go over, I take a big suitcase with me, bring them back and then I can ship them out to you. So I know there's a few of you that are wanting some bits and pieces, but the point of this video is we're gonna go from here service station, airport, Billund, park, Lego house, Lego land, Lalandia, airport, truck, home, all in snippets of this video. It's always going to be a very, very busy 24 hours. And then you guys and girls know exactly what's going to be coming over the next couple of uploads. But just a quick last look at this. Obviously, you better check out the view. I've got a funny feeling. It is glorious. We have got the Tesla charging point. At least it's going to be quiet in the background, so nothing special to look at. But this is the room, nice and simple. Any other little bits and pieces? TV, bits and bobs. No, right, come along with me now to the service station and then we'll just see what's what. Before we go. That's kind of gross, isn't it? Oh, their actual hairs. They're not mine. <laughs> I haven't even used it yet. Apart from that, the room's beautiful because it's just fully been refilled and hopefully, not 100% sure what's going on with that either. Oh well, it is what it is. I don't really care, I'm far too tired. Right, food. Right, let's see what this service station has to offer from the hotel. Now, it's super easy to get from. You just walk out the front door, stay on the path, just cross over the little crossing bit just on the road, and then from there, you just walk straight through the Starbucks on the side. It's a huge Starbucks, actually. Then you go into, like, a food court. From the food court, you can pick and choose all the different bits and pieces. I think there's a KFC there. I ended up picking up a Burger King. It was all right, but you could make it a quad. So you could have an XL quad burger if you wanted to with cheese. So that is the inside. The subway was shut. Smith was open. That's your little food hall and court. And then that is a random piano in the middle of the service station and that is the undercooked burger with freezing cold cheese that i had on top thank you very much indeed and that is another snippet of the starbucks so we're going to catch up with myself in a second and then we're going to go straight from the airport and then it's going to be very very fast paced all the right, way we've through made it. we've all checked in now i just need to get in through security and get straight to the lego store so that is the first thing that we're going to be having a look at don't forget this is just going to be a highlight reel then everything that you see within this there should be all going well full videos available within the billand playlist so i'm going to go to a voiceover now because i obviously can't talk in the airport and it is far too early in the morning so fingers crossed this goes all right i am back in about 14 maybe 15 hours time from now and then i've got another three hour drive home so it is going to be a very very long day but fingers crossed it'll be worth it 
Now, to be honest, I think it was. I did get home at 3 a.m. and started work at half past six, but again, it is what it is. So, walking from a truck, this is the way you go. So, snippets of the little car park with a very, very fancy multi story. I stayed in the short stay blue parking, so it's really, really easy to get to. It's a couple of minutes walk. Just walk straight through. There you go. There's your trains. That's where everybody sprints to in the evening to get back to their train. So, this is, you've got, you've got to be careful where you're coming from. So, when you come out of the departures, you walk through, you walk in a straight line, it will take you to the buses, come down this slope and turn right now they do have a good lego store there and what i did not realize is that if you're flying out and coming back you can buy the larger lego sets there they will hold them for you and as you come back through the airport there's a special place that you can collect all your bits and pieces from then you can just take it straight back to the car with you don't forget you do save 20 percent on all these sets now we'll go over that in much greater detail in the stansted video itself because obviously there is a full video of this to come so that's one thing that's ticked off i'm actually surprised how much i did in a day to be honest so we're walking halfway down the runway to get for the Ryanair flight for some reason. It took forever to get there. It's the completely different terminal. I haven't flown from this one before. Well, I've flown from the terminal, but not this gate. So this is the furthest I've ever walked for a Ryanair flight. It just kept going and going and going. But managed to get there, so it was all all right. Then from there, obviously, then they make you wait on the um, tarmac for some random reason for about five minutes before you can actually get on the plane. So I don't know why they throw you through them to make you stand out in the freezing cold, but it's all good fun. You get to see all the airplanes and things like that. So what we have is we take off, obviously, then we land. It was a very, very weird landing, so I'm go I will go quite quiet for the landing because we landed and then all of a sudden they put the brakes on and everybody got thrown forward and now you could hear that there was one or two people that i don't think had their seatbelt on very tight so they ended up hitting the seat in front of them so i'll go quiet for that bit the takeoff's just quiet anyway that was nice and smooth the flight itself was really really easy then when we land we've got all the snippets like i said of what the plan of attack was and is so we walk to, from the airport to the lego house look at the lego house massive disney display in there and then we come back and then obviously we'll see all the other little bits and pieces as we go but I am going to go quiet in about 10, maybe 15 seconds time so you can hear the landing. And then I'll explain to you all the different bits and pieces that are coming. But like I said, all the videos and bits and pieces that you're seeing now will be available in full videos so we've got about five or six different lego store videos we've got lots of stuff to come from the legoland theme park we have a good look around the rooftop of the lego house the new disney display that they got at the lego house and also the lego shop as well and then Right, we have landed. So video number two will be us walking from the airport to the Lego house. And we cover something a little bit weird and wonderful. The Zleep Hotel is no longer. It is now the Billund Airport Hotel. It looks like it's got completely different um, artwork and everything on the outside. So it'll be interesting to see if it has changed at all on the inside. It does kind of make sense that the name has changed because it's got loads and loads of different things to do with the airport on the inside of it. Now, this is still the first video that we'll be covering, or sorry, the second video that we'll be covering. We walk to get to the Lego house. We walk past the entrance of the theme park, which is obviously where we are now. From there, we'll then cut through and past the castle, which is this bit just here. So we walk through the castle, walk past the castle, walk past the Lego hotel, and then we pick up some new signage. And the new signage is all to this play line. That'll all be covered in its own video. From there, we then bolt down to the Lego campus, which is this bit just here. So so again, we can have a nice look at this as we're walking through. I've if you wondered where that model come from, that is available currently on the LEGO website. I desperately do want that in my collection. Then from there, we have another walk down, and we are at the LEGO house. From the LEGO house, we then come on the inside, and they have this incredible Disney display. So this huge mosaic 
full size this thing is so i've got this completely covered with really nice slow video lots of photos and then there's the hundredth year history of all the different lego sets as well loads of minifigure information of how long it takes them to produce the minifigures all the original molds and things like that so obviously that's going to be its own standalone video so i do believe i keep counting my fingers that is going to be video number three but this is four sides all sorts of different disney princesses all the toy stories and everything like that video number four obviously is going to be the lego store itself so we meet batman and then we see all of the pirate sets i know loads of you are after this so like i said at the start of the video it was literally last minute i went the flight was as cheap as it could be it was 35 pounds return for the flight if i left it 48 hours it'd be nearly 300 quid so i just did it i went and now for the next couple of weeks it's just far too expensive so that's going to be its own video and then obviously this is the famous three bricks on the outside now video number five which is the start coming up right now we walk from the lego house to the lego theme park and we cover over all the different bits and pieces of all the construction work in the middle there's huge amount of work going on here i have no idea what this is turning into but all the middle bit which is the massive sort of sculpture park and everything like that there's been a lot of new bits added in the last couple of months so I had to cover over all of that and it looked like the school was being demoed as well but again that's a different video and then from there you can see there's the hotel and then we're back at the entrance of the park so i think that's the first five video number six well we're going to start with the massive lego shop aren't we so there's a lego 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 shop to come loads and loads of bits and pieces from the pub wall and a huge amount of sets in display as well so all of that will be covered again in its own video in there obviously nice long detailed videos if you're into that kind of thing but you can see just the volume of sets that they've got in the background now they had a pumpkin gallery there so you could build your own pumpkins and you could do loads of different bits and pieces now this is just going to be very quick snippets of stuff that we're going to be having a look at so we've got the pirates you can see we've got the lego movie 2 section that'll all be covered that is the pumpkin gallery so that's where your pumpkins end up once you've built them so all of these are going to be sort of mini videos of different bits and pieces and long ones as well the haunted house is going to be its own video that was amazing to see on the inside for halloween we redid the boats the boats themselves have huge new models and this so there's a new ferrari world opened up which is where you build all your new cars this looked incredible now there's a different ferrari in each lego park around the world now obviously i want to see them all it's a bit like pokemon but every car is completely different and that thing looked outstanding ninjago has its own video as well they have a good selection of store it was just nice to see it all decked out for halloween and there was just some nice little sort of lots of tweaks and changes for the 2023 season because this was the first time i'd actually come to the park in 2023 so it was good to catch back up with everything and just see all the different bits and pieces the go figure store wow what a change that had it had a massive new section of this they'd taken out loads of sets they added there is usually a go minifigure so it was just a minifigure and more store where you could build your own minifigures on the left but it had all of these bricks and pieces on the right hand side so bill and look like they've added in loads hopefully windsor takes suit now from here well, we've obviously got to go and look at the Miniland as well. And there's a huge new scaled Lego house on display. This thing was incredible. And there's another land that had opened up as well. So all of that's covered in a massive detailed 4K video as well. So I spent a good amount of time walking around on that. I've lost count of how many videos that we've done, but we did see a lot. Now, from there, we are going to shoot over and have a look at the Lego house. So the Lego, sorry, the Legoland Hotel. So the Legoland Hotel, beautiful on the inside. We check out all the different models and all the other little bits and pieces like that. Lots and lots of things to see. Loads of offers on the inside with lots of exclusive Lego sets. So we cover all of that. And there's also been some changes on the inside of the reception area as well, which I did very kindly get some emails sent down from um, people that do follow the channel as well. So massive thank you to those individuals that sent the photos over. But it's really interesting to see how they've got lots of self-checking. Now, from there, we obviously walk all the way back to the airport and we've got to check out this store, don't we? So there was loads and loads of different bits and pieces to have a look at. Loads of offers. I've learned loads of stuff about this Lego shop and how you can get it back. The money that you save, the 20% that you get off, the extra VAT you get off and everything like that the member of staff that i spoke to here she runs the store she's been doing it for years i finally met her she builds all the models herself she's an incredible human being for doing all of this basically by herself it looked amazing but guys that is all the bits and pieces that are to come within this playlist and obviously i then fly home i get in the truck i have a three hour drive like i said i got back about 3 a.m 
and then I started work at 6.30 a.m. So it was rough, ready, but a good bit of fun. So hopefully you're looking forward to all the videos that are coming within this playlist. If you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Comments below if you are going to try and get here for the 2023 season. Like I said, I managed to go there and back in a day, and it was definitely worth doing. So let us know if you are now considering doing that yourself. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da.